Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. If you want to skip ahead, please remember that time is fluid. And what that means is this could resonate for you as a past, a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. I'll be reading your energy at the top, their energy at the bottom, but as this is a general reading, it can be flipped or reversed. Please bear with me. I have had a sore throat, so I'm sorry if the audio is not the best, okay? <clears throat> the decks that I use are always listed in the description box below if you guys want to go and check them out. This week is really special. I'm using a new deck by a fellow creator and good friend of mine. Of course, I am going to be linking her uh, Etsy shop in the description box. You guys can go and get information about this deck. We have Encounter, Physical Connection, Catching Feelings. So, really interesting energies here. Daydream, <clears throat> thinking of all the beautiful possibilities. Lines in the sand, creating loving boundaries. We have giver, giving of oneself, giving gifts, and then we have old boat, regret and longing. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, there's some kind of renewal energy or aspect to this, um, like things deepening, deepening or developing here with this person in the past that, you know, they may not have given themselves as fully as they could have, and they have some regrets about that. That's maybe where these boundaries, you know, have been added here, but I think that this person... They are making some kind of effort or change here. We have the Four of Cups with the Moon, Pisces, Cancerian energy. That's your energy. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Hermit Virgo energy. For your person here, we have the strength card that wanted to come out in the reverse. So we're going to leave it that way. There could be a Leo reversing from the picture or a Leo could be involved here. Uh, or someone's just lacking the strength right now. We have the six of wands, the ace of cups, and the nine of wands. Under the deck here is the knight of swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There does seem like there's communication about some things here. Like needing to clear the air. Eight of wands. I'm getting kind of like a, a specific uh, message here. Like, okay, like I say, it's general. Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it is not your message, don't try forcing it to fit, okay? Uh, for somebody here, there could have been an opportunity in the past for someone to come and see you or make an effort to come to be with you. Uh, they may not have done that. They may have felt like they lacked the strength to do so. And what that did was it made you question everything. You felt like there were secrets or things that, you know, you didn't see about the situation or the connection. You felt rejected, disappointed, okay? In your person's energy here, it's like you're asking this person to continue to try to make the effort to fight for this, to defend this connection, to not let anybody or anything interfere with this, okay? You could be at a distance from this person for some of you. But I see efforts being made here. Like I see like you're you're beginning to look at this more optimistically because things are changing. For some of you, this could definitely also um, resonate as, you know, this is an opportunity to be together again, to see each other again. And it brings forth all these emotions and feelings. <sighs> look at that. <clears throat> Physical connection, catching feelings, an encounter, an opportunity to come together, to be together with sunset here reminiscing on times gone by reminiscing about the past you know what went wrong what should have would have could have been you know under there is part of your world feeling left out needing attention you know somebody here and I feel like and I'm reading this like it's your energy I feel like you feel you know this or have felt in the past very disappointed about the situation because you know you wanted to be with this person or you wanted to be able to make things work and they weren't putting in the effort that they needed to, or they allowed obstacles to stand in the way of the connection, you know. <clears throat> all right, so daydream, thinking about the, all the po beautiful possibilities, 
and lines in the sand creating loving boundaries. You know, you do see what this connection could be. I think you've always seen that. And you're still really optimistic here that things are shifting, things are changing. I feel like it is. I feel like it is. Um, but it starts with putting boundaries up here. You know, if this is a past person trying to reconcile or come back in, I do feel you'll be very clear and very direct with this person about what you are and are not willing to accept from them. You know, what efforts they have to put in to prove to you that they want to fight for this. Because in the past, you know, I don't feel like they did. And it left you in this place of feeling left out, feeling like you needed more attention, more time, more energy from them, more effort, more quality time, you know, um, disappointed, you know, kind of waiting for things to kind of shift and unfold and just kind of feeling, I don't want to say helpless, but it's almost like that. It's kind of like just that there was things out of your control. Like it was completely up to this person to move forward and make the changes here. You know, with the moon here, I feel like a lot of your fear is the unknown element to things. The secrets, you know, illusion, things that you can't see coming, hidden obstacles or challenges, those kind of things. This person may have even hidden some emotions from you. Some of you may have actually not told this person how much their absence or uh, lack of effort in the past did hurt you. I think they know that, um, but you never gave them that verbal confirmation, you know, or you may have held back some of that. With the Nine of Cups, though, you still want this connection. And like I say, as a general reading, if you're not still interested in this person, this is probably not for you then. Because what I do see here is the possibilities, what could be, what should be. We have another chance or another opportunity to make this work. And now that this person's decided to put more effort in because they have regrets about the past, you know, this actually could be something worthwhile in your mind, okay? With the Nine of Cups here, you want it all, okay? Now, you're not you're not about to waste time and energy for, you know, a mediocre love is what I want to say. You know, a repetitive situation, you know. It's like if you're going to give your heart, your soul, your energy, your time, your devotion to this connection, you're, you're in it for long term. You're in it for complete happiness. You want absolute fulfillment in this emotionally. You want that security of it. You know, it's, you know what you want here. And you really don't want this person coming back in and repeating the past. And they know that they made mistakes. With the hermit here, I do feel like you're really in your head right now. Some of you may have, may start off a little bit guarded with this person because like you're analyzing the situation looking at everything past, present, future, decoding information here. You have the wisdom and you have the lantern, so you have you can uncover this. And I feel like you're very intuitive. Now, in your person's energy, we do have giver and old boat, which says giving of oneself, giving gifts. This person may come in, you know, bringing you an offer, an offer, a gift, you know, um, to express their, you know, apology, you know, in the situation that they were at fault for because they realized they were, okay? With old boat regret and longing, they want to get things started again, but they're... This person has a bit of pride. I do want to say that. Now, they do want to fight for this. They do want to defend this. They want to protect this connection. They want it to be able to grow. You know, they want to be able to get that boat restored. They want to be able to get it moving again. They want to move it in the right direction with you. This could also be some of them. Some of them may be needing to get a new car. Like maybe this is going to sound weird, but <clears throat> this feels very specific. So this could just be for a handful of you. Um, like so you could live at a distance from this person. Maybe they're saving up for like a plane ticket or a boat. I don't, you know what I mean? Um, I'm kind of getting like somebody who's like car. Like if you guys live in this, like, you know, in driving distance, I'm kind of getting like their car physically would not make a trip right now so they may be wanting to like and try to restore it or get another car it's like preparatory okay um because like they having to like get this obstacle situated first okay with the strength card here i feel like this person has been feeling really discouraged i feel like they've been lacking like the confidence or self-esteem it's like when they were with you, they had that. 
And then like in this absence, in this separation, you know, they actually like backtracked. It's like they lost a lot of that, that motivation, that strength, that courage, that willpower. Some of you may have strong Leo in your chart and I feel like, you know, they may feel really feel your absence and be really focused on that. With the six of wands here, this person does what they do desire is success. So they are trying, they are trying to motivate themselves. They are trying to empower themselves. Now, I do feel like they're afraid of something. It could be the fact that they feel like they don't have enough money or they don't have enough nice things or that you may not be willing to take them back or hear them out, but they are determined to make this work. They do want this to be successful. They are building themselves up. Their intention here is for a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. They want to indulge back in this connection with you. They want this opportunity. I do feel like, you know, we have the Nine of Cups here in your energy, Ace of Cups in theirs. Like there is a completion happening here if you want it. The opportunity is there. Um, they do want to defend this. Now, there could be outside influences, people, friends, family, coworkers, exes, karmic partners. For some of you who don't want the two of you to be together, and there could be like a defensive energy here, like keeping things quiet. Um, so that way that there's nobody trying to interfere here. <clears throat> and like I said, there's a conversation here about travel and movement. This person not giving up with that seven of wands because they want to be with you. Gemini energy with the lovers. They want to embrace. They want this encounter. They want this, this opportunity to come together with you. They want to be able to express things to you, look you in the eyes, you know, um, very powerful energy here. I do feel like here, there you are, Cancer Energy. Uh, Page of Wands, you could be doing with a younger fire sign or some with fire in their chart. They're determined. They know what they want. I mean, their sights are set on it and they see you there. They want to move. They want to travel. They, they aren't giving up. You know, whatever the obstacle or challenge, whether it be people involved, money, uh, distance, uh, lack of determination, they're, they are clearing obstacles. They are trying harder. They are giving more of themselves. They want to restore this. They want this opportunity again. There's communication coming in about this. I feel like this definitely could be a very specific reading. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you to those of you who have sent in donations. It is greatly appreciated. I am always wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.